So guys, since I'm going to be working on the truck today, I figured I needed to make a few changes, if you know what I mean. That's better. I can't do anything without my bandana. So guys, today I'm going outside to go work on the Duramax. We're going to get it ready for Plasti Dip, and in order to do that, i got to take off the rear bumper and start filling some dents. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of me sanding and bondoing and plastering and all kinds of just prep work getting this thing ready so we can Plasti Dip it soon. We're going to do that, and then uh, I'm going to get started out here, pull off that bumper, and then we'll get it ready for paint or Plasti Dip or whatever the hell we're doing to it. So let's do it. Okay, so first step, buy a bunch of impact sockets that are totally the wrong size. Then get yourself the world's largest breaker bar and uh, throw it in the dirt. Then pick yourself up one of these suckers and realize you don't have a socket to fit it. So then you decide, well, if we break it, we break it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our 18 mil, put it on our impact wrench, and zip that sucker off. Let's do it. So we're gonna go ahead and zip these nuts off here. This, these two are 18s, so that's what we're gonna do for those. They connect over onto this side, and that goes to the bumper. And then we gotta do the same thing over here on those two. Um, and then on mine, I got a tow hitch, and I gotta get this off. Figure out what size that is in a minute. Don't forget to have your tunes. This is a very bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. That came off entirely too easy. That's weird. So these suckers here, they're a 21 mil, if I'm not mistaken, because a 22 was just slightly bigger and a 19 was just not cutting it. I don't have one, so we're gonna have to use this. So, wish me luck. So guys, I got it out. These were 21. Um, the Big Bertha came in real handy. I used this to basically break it loose. And after they were loose, I was very careful with this because I didn't want to super strip it, but I slightly stripped them. You can see where they're like a little bit rounded, but these are some really strong bolts, so they took the abuse. Uh, so next, I gotta go under there and pull the studs, and then we're gonna rip this bumper off uh, after we remove the wiring harness. So let's go do it. Okay, so next, we gotta get this thing off from the bumper. So it should just be this little wire here, and it unclips from this box. Don't mind mine, mine's loose because I swapped the uh, truck bed, and I didn't have a place to mount this, but fortunately it just kinda does its own thing, um, not a big deal. So we're gonna go pop this off real quick and then we'll go to removing these studs. These studs just slide out like that. Boom, and I already pulled the one over there. Um, so let's just unclip this. All you gotta do is there's this little tab, pop this tab in, boom, like that, nice and easy. Okay guys, so it's real easy. All you gotta do, there's this little tab here you push in and pull it out, so now it is not attached to our bumper anymore. Real easy to get all this stuff out. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and now we're gonna go out there and pull this bumper off. Well guys, if we did this right, this should just wiggle off. Um, let's see what happens. Obviously I missed something. So guys, I missed a bolt. This one's gotta come out on both sides because there's two that go here and then this one. It was hidden from me little bastard was hiding we got him so we're gonna pull these and then we'll pull the bumper all right wish me luck hopefully this thing doesn't drop on me so I'm gonna get under the truck just in case so that one's a 15 millimeter guys guys I missed one more okay guys so I missed it there's one more that's up under there that connects that big bolt that's going through if you're looking at it it's right up under here it's the last sucker. Whew. I really hope I can get this without screwing it up and having it drop on my face. I'm actually a little bit nervous, so wish me luck, because I'm gonna need it. Okay guys, here we go. 21, I got two bolts holding this thing on, and I'm gonna be under it just in case if it falls. I got an idea. Using that just to hold it up. Okay, that should be free. I'm gonna get out from under here and then do it. Here we go guys, let's see what happens. 
There it goes. Oh, it unhooks itself. There we go. Ha! Look at that. All right. We'll call that a win. So guys, now you can see uh, this is the side that was all bent. Look, at it actually broke the uh, one of the brackets. It's all warped up and everything. This is what a good side should look like. It's nice and straight and everything like that. So if you have like a busted up bumper like me, uh, this is kind of what it should look like. And this is what it definitely should not look like. So now that I got that off, I got it out of the way, we can move on to the bodywork. So as far as bodywork goes, here somebody hit me at school. You can see this nice big old dent right there, right? This is from the drift event we had back when we were uh, at Corpus and our tent flew over the side of the truck. That was not cool. You can see it's all jacked up there. Um, everything else, you can see like a, don't pay attention to that, we're gonna fix that today. <laughs> we're gonna sand this back because I'm tired of seeing it. I just don't wanna look at it and we're gonna prime it. We're gonna remove these because if you notice, the back one does not have fender flares and plus I have some aftermarket ones I wanna get. For right now, we're just gonna remove them. As far as the front bumper, I don't know what I'm going to do with the front bumper yet. We're still trying to figure that out. We're going to respray the grill. I have a plan for that. Obviously, we need to get this door back to be in the right color because the whole truck does not match. Uh, and then, of course, there's just like little damage here and there. Nothing too bad. So basically, all we're going to do is get the surface to where it's nice and even and level. We're not going to do anything too crazy with the body work. We're not going to like sand it or anything because Plasti Dip is supposed to be easy. Plasti Dip is supposed to be easy. I just want to make sure that when I do Plasti Dip it, that it looks the best that it can. So we're going to fix all these problems now that we have access to them and get it ready. So that way we can go wash it and clean it and get it prepped for paint. So let's do it. Okay guys, so now that I got this thing all prepped and ready to go. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get my sandpaper, which for this, I need like 80 grit because you need to have something for the Bondo to stick to. Yes, I know we're using Bondo, but it works, okay? We're going to use it. So we're going to sand it down, 80 grit, get a nice bare metal, nice clean surface, and then we're going to take some uh, WD-40 or something to clean it, acetone, whatever, get rid of every, all the chemicals, and we're going to do all that, and then we'll get started slathering that Bondo on. But for right now, i got to go prep the surface, so that means lots and lots of sanding. But we're going to go do it, so let's do it. Okay, guys, so we're ready to start sanding. i got my orbital sander here, 80 grit sandpaper, and we're just going to go to town, so let's do it. Okay, so you guys might be thinking I'm a little bit crazy for sanding down the whole hood, but there are so many damn rock chips, and there's an old adage, and it goes, if it's something worth doing, it's something worth doing right. All right, guys, so my camera overheated because it's so damn hot, so make sure if you're outside doing this, wear some sunscreen because I already burned the shit out of myself. So I'm going to go to Lowe's. I forgot that I don't have any primer, so I'm going to go get some etching primer. Um, and then get some also some acetone to clean up the uh, all the dust and everything get it ready for paint and then we're just gonna prime a lot of stuff and get the Bondo ready lay some Bondo and do all that fun stuff so let's go do it alright guys time to get this thing knocked out got all my paint time to head home and get this thing taken care of okay guys so now we're back I got the acetone we're gonna use that and we're gonna wipe down all the spots where there's bare metal we're just gonna lightly get it nice and clean and then we're gonna go and shoot it with some etching primer. Um, and we're just gonna do that on all the metal spots that we're not using Bondo. The Bondo has to go directly to bare metal. So the stuff that's I covered up where it was just rust repair, they weren't really deep and I just feathered it and made it real even. So we're just gonna etch it and it should be good. I'm not too worried about being too perfect. We're using Plasti Dip, so it's gonna hide a lot of little imperfections. I just have to get it close. So that's what we're gonna do.
So as you guys can tell, this thing's taking way longer than it should. I still gotta do the Bondo. I'm gonna get the Bondo on there. I've only got like four or five spots I gotta do it. And then we're just gonna let it dry. I'm pretty much out of daylight, starting to get late. Um, so we're gonna try to wrap this up really fast. Um, yeah, just one of those days. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Okay, so I got my big old pile of Bondo. And then all I'm gonna do is take this and run a strip lengthwise. This is the hardener, and this is basically what's going to make this thing start to solidify. I don't want to use too much or too little. Got to get just the right amount. Okay. I only have a short time to work, so I'm just going to mix this up real fast, and then we're going to go lay it. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I got the tripod all up in the bondo. Okay, so we're almost there. It's almost ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna start laying this. Long coats. Oh man, it's hardening too fast. Damn it. Look at that. I screwed it up. Well guys, I think that's about as far as I'm gonna get today because I definitely screwed the pooch on that one. We'll have to come back to this because definitely too much hardener in there. Damn. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. You win some, you lose some. I lost pretty big today. Without you by my side, I can't survive.